it's the end of an era. It's the end of the Volkswagen Transporter T6.1, and it's going to be replaced. But Bespoke Leisure have now brought out the final edition, the Transporter, which has got some few upgrades from the previous model. And today, we're also going to talk about that, which has got a lot of new features, exclusive features, and some really, really interesting ones, including that pop top, which within 10 minutes, that red can be a different color. First of all, let's go and have a look at this final edition transporter. So this is the final edition transporter. So from the outside, obviously you can see it's a T6.1, but if you've seen any of the bespoke leisures um, vehicles before, you'll notice they don't always have these graphics. And this has got these lovely graphics decals down the side of the van, including a final edition at the back. But before we go a little bit further towards the back, let's have a look at the front end of this, because you'll also notice it's got LED lights, because this isn't just a standard Highline model. Because it is the final edition, they've got as many options as they possibly can, which, to be fair, at the moment with Volkswagen, you can't get that many options because they're obviously in the final realms of production. But they have got LED lights and heated seats in this. So as I've said, we've got these decals down the side, and I think that's really quite fetching, especially on the white. As I said in my uh, preview video, um, this is the colour which I really like. And at the back there, you can see final edition. Also on the exterior of this one, you can see that it's got the 18 inch alloy wheels and it's also been lowered by 30 millimeters. Coming inside. So first of all, we'll uh, just pop round to the front and the dash, just so I can show you that it's got the heated seats. And you will also notice that it's leather seats now. So as standard on this final edition, you actually get leather upholstery. And you'll notice that it's the twin passenger, which it's not my preferred option. It's not what I would choose if I was specking a van, but I do know a lot of people have said, I want that twin passenger. So if it is the twin passenger, which you want, then here it is. You can have three sat in the front and then two in the back. So as far as the back's concerned, it's got the rib bed, uh, which is the 112 rib bed. And as you can see again, on here, it's got some lovely decals for final edition. So also with upgrades as this one, uh, the previous one included a leisure battery. Well, this is now lithium iron as standard. It's also got a solar panel on the roof, which is standard, but it's still got the usual bits and pieces as far as the two burner uh, Dometic hub and obviously the sink as well. Got the onboard water tank and a fridge in here, the Dometic 50 litre fridge so plenty of room in there and then this cupboard very very deep because the bed is a 112 it means that you've got this cavernous storage space in here to store all your essentials and obviously with essentials going to the toilet is an essential so in here that's where you keep the toilet so for those who are saying it's not even got a toilet this design of camper van has a place for the toilet and it's in there got this pull out drawer so pull out drawer, that's to put all your bits and pieces in, your shower head, um, your awning attachments and things like that, that can all be kept in there. And then around the back, because it's a rib bed, you've got that nice large storage space in there. You've got your cupboard. So the cupboard in here, storing your essentials, and then the bottom in here, which you can put your, your outdoor chairs bits and pieces because you're going to need those chairs with the table because as standard these vans come with a lock eight table the question is has this one got the new lock eight table because they have brought out a new model which i believe bespoke are the only people at the moment to have it but that's not it but do, do bear with me because i'm going to show you that in a minute because on the transit custom it is featured in there so what else can we say about this other than I really like it? Take note of this floor, because when we go in the transit, we're gonna see something completely different, something completely new, and something which I rather like. What do you think of that? Shall we go and have a look at the transit? And as you can see, and as I mentioned in the other NEC show video I did, this starts at 59,995 which really is a good price. 
And I know a lot of people are going to come at me and say, how can £60,000 be good for a camper van? Well, the current market, that is a very good price because as far as the base vans are concerned, the base vans themselves have gone up so much. But anyway, let's have a look at this. So what we've got here is we've got an Oztops popped up roof and Oztops have designed this and Bespoke have been involved within that design process to actually help make this and this has been a long time coming. The original intention for this was to be originally going to be on the transporter and one of the main benefits of it is it's a removable popped up canvas which can be removed completely and replaced with a different one within 10 minutes. So it completely unzips from around here and you can remove it and put in a different colored one. And obviously it's scenic as well, so it can obviously come up there. Now, a lot of the vans of the Transit Custom have been built with the SCA roof, um, but Bespoke tell me, at the moment on this base vehicle, which is the Transit, it's actually quite difficult to fit that roof. It's a little bit finicky. So they wanted to, to build this. So with Oztops, which they've got a good relationship with because they've been building with them for many, many years, they've designed this, they've developed it and they've produced it. And it's also gone through crash testing. So Bespoke's vehicles, all of them are NCC approved, whole vehicle type approval. And this has been through its crash testing um, as of only last week, I believe it was. And it's passed the crash testing, including the tub with that pop top. So it's passed all the required safety levels. And it's a really nice pop top. Do you like the red? So the seats inside, it continues with the red. As you can see, this has got the leather seats, which is, again, it's Nappa leather. It's not vinyl, it's proper Nappa leather. And I've sat in these and it's really comfy. It's also in the back as well. And again, this is the rib, uh, rib Alta 112, but it's not your normal one. And it's got a special feature, which I'll show you in a second, which the other beds don't have, but I'll come on to that. So what else has this fan got? Well, it's got lithium ion battery as standard. It's got swivel seats as standard. I've got to mention this floor. So this floor comes in various different options. You can spec it in the flooring, which you've seen in the transporter, which you see in a lot of other vehicles, or you can have it in this Bolan, I think it's called. And it's kind of a, a heavy weave and it's really nice. They've got color charts and they've got different colors and I've, I've particularly chosen mine and the kitchen units. Won't you surprise you what color I've chosen? But I think that they're really quite special. Now, one thing which I will say about this is what Bespoke have tried to do is they've tried to retain the same height of the, the seat and also in, include the toilet, which they've got, uh, as I've just shown you in the transporter, they've got the toilet in there. So what they've done is they've designed the floor which actually curves down. Because of the way the transport is built, that means there has to be a dip from this step because the step comes at this, this single height and this trim here cannot be changed at the moment. So the way the transits are, de are being designed at the moment, all this has to be at the same height, including the factory swivels nothing can be changed on it. It is obviously very early days for these camper van conversions, so things are going to change in time. But as you can see, there is a dip there at the moment, which you won't find on other vehicles because they've tried to maximize that space as much as possible. So continuing on to the kitchen, in here we've got a fridge, but it's the new fridge. It's the new Dometic um, fridge looks very similar to the old one, but as everything with technology, technology does improve. So it has, has the technology with the fridge. Uh, same Dometic two burner hob and sink with an extra special feature because now these vans come as standard with hot water. So as standard, the hot water system, it's got a 12 volt hot water system which will heat your water, which will enable us to have hot water in your sink and also hot water in your shower. You can have a hot water shower and I shall show you that round the back in a moment. That's all controlled by this control panel here. So this control panel is a Savvy Vans control panel and it also controls your heating so you can program your heating on it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a full video on this van I'm going to show you exactly how that heating works so you can actually turn it on you can program it um, this panel also shows you your water levels what's going on in your tanks 
you can turn your lights on and off and bits and pieces like that you also know what your battery's doing so it's a really good uh good system and i'm going to be meeting up with simon and we're going to he's going to explain it in a little bit more detail so you can understand exactly what's what's what the benefits of it are so just before we move around to the back this is a much easier way of doing the bed previously to actually operate the bed you'd have to operate it from here a lot of people struggled with that they got the hand stuck they felt it really quite difficult to do it but now they've designed it so it's there which is just far easier operation because it's just there it's, it's in view there's no getting your hand stuck so the other feature which i mentioned with the uh locate table is this right so has anybody ever used a locate table and tried to put it back in the actual door you might realize that putting it back in the door what you needed to do is you needed to either secure it at the top and then drop it into the bottom or drop it into the bottom and secure it into the top it was all spring loaded and it came a little bit you know a few people did struggle with it i mean i didn't i kind of knew how to do it but now look at this it's easy you just turn that and it pops out it is so so easy why it can't have been designed like that before i don't know but it is just so easy to use so that is an absolute massive benefit now it's just so much easier because that has been one of the problems which people have been saying about it so if you're getting yourself a new locate table actually bespoke i think sell them um, um so yeah contact bespoke and they can get you one of these new locate tables i do like them definitely definitely a must for my next van but let's get back outside and have a look around the back. So around here, we've got the secret storage. It's not very secret though anymore, is it? Because Bespoke told people about the secret compartment. So it's not very secret anymore. Um, but obviously that's a, a storage uh, compartment there, which if you didn't know, the tags are hidden and you can't do it. So maybe you could store your valuables in there. So around here, We've got the shower point and the shower is now hot. So like I said, you've got that 12 volt water heater with a bigger water tank. It's got a much bigger water tank now because it's, um, it, they've, they've managed to make it bigger so it can fit more water in it. So you've actually got 35 liters with heated water and you can actually have a hot shower. So above the top, you've got the cupboard and you might notice that this is wider yes this is wider than the transporter so you've actually got a lot more space in here so if you're wanting to store some bigger goods you can now put it in there with far more ease which also means you could put some bigger chairs in here so as you can see we just obviously saw the transporter and the two chairs in the transporter were kind of on top of each other because it was a little bit narrower with this being wider you can obviously store more things in there and one thing which I know a lot of people like about these vans is the water filler. So you've got this lovely aluminium water filler here incorporated into the, the back tailgate. So you've not got those. What I personally, and I know we've all got different preferences, uh, but I personally don't like those fillers on the side of the vans. So having that there like that just means that it's hidden away and it actually looks really quite stylish. So I quite like that. So just coming back around here again, and if we go up into the pop top, you will see as in the transporters, these Oztops beds come with, that was good filming, wasn't it? Frolly bed. It comes with the frolly bed, which is sprung. And I absolutely love this because you can get um, conversions which just have a solid bed board. And yeah, your sounds might not be sleeping up there. You know, you might be keeping it for the children who might not be as, uh, let's say fussy about how they sleep but you might be using it yourself or somebody else might so having this as a nice sprung bedboard is just far better than than just a plank of wood so that's the frolly bed system which has been maintained for this and i really like it so it's a really good conversion like i say type approved whole vehicle type approved etc it's got the ncc badge it's a really high spec conversion with a price tag which kind of doesn't really reflect that the high level of quality in it 
Victron electrical components, lithium ion batteries, solar panel preparation. In fact, that's something which I didn't mention about the pop top. The way this pop top has actually been uh, manufactured and the way it can be removed, they've actually thought about solar preparation in the back of the pop top. So there's actually a way of putting the cables through without cutting the canvas or doing anything nasty like that. You can pop those cables through. I think it's on uh, Velcro or Zip and the cables can go through and you, your solar's already prepared because when you're specking the van, not everybody wants a 100 watt solar panel, 150 watt, 250. Some people might want more. So when you're going through the spec with them, they'll talk about, you know, do you want a solar panel? What kind of wattage do you want? So they've already thought about that. That's already been designed within this pop top. You know, the leather seating, the water heater. How many vans actually come of this kind of size, come with a hot water? This control panel, this digital control panel, a lot of them are just switches and things. So it's, it's including a lot of good stuff. The rib bed, which again, obviously that's special design. The locate table, there's so, so much to list. It really is a quite high spec van. Now, all these vans, which I do talk about, and I do talk about varying different manufacturers. And yes, I might like different elements of different vans, but we've all got these different choices, haven't we? We've all got different preferences. You know, we all like something completely different. So the, the way this one is laid out, the schemes, the colors, the design might not suit somebody, but it might suit somebody else. Somebody might want a high quality camper van conversion which looks like this. And then somebody else might want another one which looks like something else. That's why here at the show, there are so many different brands. These transit conversions and still probably coming soon, the camper van donor conversions. There's a lot happening in the industry at the moment which not everybody will know about. The camper van donor vehicle, which I don't think is, is that common at the moment, but it's kind of a high spec. So is everybody gonna be wanting to have the, I think 170 horsepower, this, that, and the other. Does everybody want that kind of level of spec or do they want to be getting in at the base level? There's lots to be to be happening with this Trode Ford Transit, but this is this one and I really like it. It is um, a lovely, lovely van. But what do you think? There's loads of different choices. Let me know. Anyway, if you didn't see my other show videos, then do have a look at those here. Thanks for watching, take care, and I hope to see you soon.